You know I go insane every time I have to catch a flight. Ah, ah. That's right, boys. We're breaking down the bag for your remix. Let's go. That's right, boys. We're back. Um, I'm breaking down the bag for your remix in this video. So hopefully you can learn something. I'll try and record more. No promises, though. Uh... If you haven't heard it, this is what it sounds like. Alright, let's get into it. Starting with the break. So I guess the main thing is the vocals, which I'm not going to play because I uh, probably get copyright claims. I'll probably still get copyright claim, but it's whatever. So you have the vocals and accompanying those vocals is these chords. I will say the um, I pitched the original track down to um, just so it's a little bit darker, a little bit more kind of fits my style kind of thing. Uh, these are the chords. Uh, pretty simple, uh, just like basic triads with, I'm pretty sure it's a, the bass note is an octave higher, and the sound for that is just a sine wave, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just this simple serum sound I made with a bunch of effects on it. Actually, not too many. That's what it sounds like without them. Just adds a bit more texture to it, which I thought sounded pretty cool. Um, then we have the respace, which is simple respace, nothing too crazy. With uh, thermal, I think thermal is doing a lot of the work up for this res. Sounds like this. Pretty, uh, pretty standard. So. It's, that's just following the bass notes of the chords. Um, then we have the drums going on throughout the the break. Uh, they come in here, and they sound like this. Pretty simple. Not nothing too crazy. I wanted it to be very. Uh, Mainly focus on the entire vocal for the break. Um, and then that's really about it. There's some effects and stuff, but those are just like transitions and stuff. Nothing too insane. I'm pretty sure this is a vocal, vocal delay effect kind of thing. So I guess, yeah, moving to the build, we have the main lead, which comes in very filtered, reverbed out. Uh, just teasing it for the drop, which sounds like this. So, yeah, that's just playing in the drop. That's the drop melody. It's a bit extended in the build because I used to have, in the first idea of this song, there was no B part. Not like the tech house kind of B part, but it was just uh, just the chords playing here. So originally it was this um, whole, whole chord pattern here. Um, with some snares. Nothing too insane. Those are just building up. Um... And then more drums are playing throughout. We have the vocals come in. This is where all the harmonies and the doubles come in. Uh, and then we have the fill. The fill is it's pretty cool. It's very it's um the main vocal layer thing or this like extra layer something. Like Cause I'll beg for you. Um, and then I chopped it up on the U, so it's 
you you which just makes it kind of transition from more of like a chiller song to then you are you know that it's just gonna hit um and that chopped up part sounds like this pretty simple nothing nothing too crazy i won't lie um yeah that's really the break the drop there's uh there's no like drum fill or anything it's just um it's just this clap which hits on the two or sorry four of that beat so nothing too insane going on to the drums uh the drums all together sound like this and then i'll break them down uh step by step sound like this Pretty simple, pretty cool. B parts very complicated, very techy. A parts literally just kick clap kind of thing with a hat. Um, but yeah, let's break it down. Kick we have this layer, so it's just the main kick, and then these offbeat offbeat kicks to add some groove, keep it interesting, you know. Uh, claps. Two layers of claps. We have the main body layer and the um I think this is more transienty high end. It could be it could be the other way around though. I'm not too sure. Okay, yeah, so this is the this is a body clap here. And then clap one is the higher transient. They just layer together, make it a bit thicker. Um there is this hat playing throughout the entire drop and it's just a simple simple hat nothing too insane simpler simple is better and then we have the b part groove which is just probably a bit overkill but it works so we have this break beat Which is, um, I'm pretty sure, like, that main layer that you can hear in the background that's just giving it that, like, groove. Um, more groove. Um, and then we have the distorted vocal in the B part. Which is going on top of all the drums. Sounds like this. It's just, um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it's just this chain that I have on, which is is what the chain is. Serum effects, um, distortion, chorus, compressor, reverb filter, uh, trash two doing this. Uh, there's a convolver, multi band distortion, a uh, little altar boy, doing that. Q doing this, and after you do all that, it should sound uh, something like this. Yeah, sounds pretty cool. So it's like a this little I'll beg for you part kind of brings you out of the A part and into the B part. Um and yeah, all to get like that's that's what's making the drums up really is that groove because without that, it sounds very without that uh vocal layer really not the same. There's no there's just not as much energy. Um and that all sounds like this. Yeah, that's what's really carrying it is those these grooves and stuff. But let's go on to the bass. I think we'll do that next. Yeah. So we have the sub, which is just just a sub that I made, um, and then chain. Without the chain, it sounds fine. But the chain just um, is what the chain is. The limiter, boosting it, <laughs> uh, compressor. Acoustics, uh, some preset, I really don't know. And EQ, just rolling off all the high end and cutting the lows a bit, like the low lows. 
um, is the sub. If you're on uh, phone speakers, that probably sounded like absolutely nothing. Um, moving on to the stabs in the mid bass. So we have two stabs. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this one is saw wave, weird thing, distortion, really simple. Sounds like this. The chain is what's carrying this long, long chain. Um, then we have a spire stab. Uh, I don't know. I just made this. I think it's literally just a, I never use spire. So it's kind of fun. Uh, but this is what that sounds like. Yeah, kind of a shit sound, but contextually adds a bit more crispiness to it, I guess you could say. Yeah, adds just a bit more high end. And then we have this B part bass, which is like a really, really tech housey bass. And uh, yeah, if you want to get this preset. Then Lens Essentials Volume 1. If you want high quality presets that will take your productions to the next fucking level, then buy the pack now, link in description. Um, this is what that sounds like. Very tech housey. Um, but that's also to just really accentuate the transient of this B part, because without that, um, it sounds really dead. <laughs> um, uh, moving on to the lead. This is the, um, this is the main, main attraction, you could say. The main element. Um, so the A part lead, which is just these chords. Simple terms, it's basically just triads. Um, but there are, the root note is duplicated an octave up, and the third is also duplicated an octave up. Just so it sounds uh, more professional, I guess you could say. This is what it sounds like without those added layers. Um, and this is what it sounds like with those layers. That's basically that lead. Um, the lead chain, this is what it is. Good luck recreating it. I'm not going to go into it entirely because it's signature lead. Um, and oh, in the B, not the B part, the second half of the drop, this harmony comes in. And how it's getting that like phasey kind of like really like high end texture and then like kind of sound is um thermal and portal which portal this is the portal i'm pretty sure this is what it's the preset i made which is the speed is up all the way offset density there size two to one pitch is up one and the scale is on octaves um that's what gives that extra high end sound um and that's really the entire like all the elements together um the harmony with the lead sounds like this it's just it keeps it interesting because I don't bring the vocal back in, but this is what this is what it all sounds like, all the leads together. Pretty simple. Pretty nothing too crazy. Literally a four year old could make these chords. Um yeah. Simple. As long as it's catchy it works. Um going to the second break. The second break is basically the exact same. The only difference is there is different vocals, which is the arena vocals in the second part in the original song. I'm not going to play because uh, I need to pay rent. But uh, moving on to the second drop, I have this fake out kind of thing, which is um, it's very melodic. It's very like super uplifting kind of sounding. Um, I want to do this because it's just kind of It'd be a little too boring if it just goes right back into it. It wouldn't be like, it'd be fine. But um, I like having that element of like, oh, sh shit, like there's um, there's more. There's something different, which I think is really cool. 
And this is done with Portal. That is how it's made. Um, that is what makes this sound so euphoric, I guess, which sounds like this. Super sick sound. Portal is quite possibly the most underrated. I don't know if it's underrated, but it's just I never see people using it. It's nuts. This is a preset I made, which is the same as the other one. Um, but without it, it just doesn't hit the same. Like, this is everything without the portal. Sounds like this. Um, and this is it with it. As you can see, it just hits way harder. And there's also no side chain because there's no kick except for the first part, first hit, which then makes when the B part comes back in, it just <sighs> hits you straight in the face, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. And it worked out. But that's that. That's really it. That's it. Yeah. Because the B, this the rest of this drop repeats itself pretty much, except for that one variation here. And yeah, it's a super simple song when you look at it like structurally and element wise, there's really not anything too crazy maximum four layers of bases a sub your mid layer and your high layer like the fundamentals of layering and then you have this also mid layer to accentuate this b part um but yeah it's really it is not that crazy it is just hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um i'll try and make more uh i don't know maybe in like two months or a year who knows um but hopefully you guys learned something if you guys have any more questions please put them down below if you um want me to break down any other songs let me know as well um i also started a sound better which i'll leave a link in below if you want mixing and mastering services for really cheap um yeah so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one later